A Guardian writer asked readers to share stories of emotional infidelity, where their spouses cheated on them emotionally, not physically, and the damage that it did to them. According to a 2015 YouGov study of British adults, 15% of all marriages broken up in Britain were due to emotional infidelity, where the spouse gave, created an emotional relationship with someone not their spouse, went to them for emotional support, and the hurt spouse felt so broken by that that they actually left the relationship. I'm not here to talk about if emotional infidelity is biblical infidelity. I'm here to, to show you how culture talks out of both sides of its mouth. Culture wants to say today that all we are is sex and gender. All, all we are is, is our race and our identity and our sex and our gender. And it's all about finding sexual pleasure, right? And yet, here an entire article talks in, in, in difficult ways to read. The emotional damage. We are more than just sex and pleasure. We want relationships. We want connections. We want support. We want companionship. We're more than just sexual pleasure. We need emotional friendship too. Marriage is more than just two people sharing a bed. And relationships are more too. Culture wants to tell you it's just one and yet has a hard time admitting that it's more. Psalm 113 for us. Let the name of the Lord be praised, both now and forevermore. Let God's name be praised now and forever, even, even when culture tries to erase God's teachings, tries to minimize its truth, tries to tell you that you can just do whatever you want. Let the name of the Lord be praised because his word is still true. His teaching that we are more than just sexual creatures is, is true. His love for our emotional and physical and all of our needs is true. His blessing of marriage, not created in some supreme court somewhere, but created when he made the world and joined Adam and Eve to each other. That teaching is true. May we praise him today and always for all of his teachings that last no matter how culture tries to erase them. All of his teachings are true. Let his name be praised now and forevermore. And let us draw near to those teachings for, t for strength and truth in a world that seems to be evaporating in both.